We have some power rankings to take a look at for Major League Baseball. And, you know, of course, we don't have too much changing, but let's take a look at where all the teams fall this time around. Uh, we still have the Atlanta Braves up at number one. Uh, we have the Texas Rangers moving up to that second spot after the trades that improved that franchise that was already pretty damn good this year. Yes. Uh, and the Dodgers take a big leap up to number three. Yeah, the Dodgers, uh, I think we can all agree at this point that the demise of the Los Angeles Dodgers <laughs> was a little bit overstated coming into the 2023 season. Well, they made trades and then those guys came over and they became super mutants. And yeah, then it's they... also, it is nice when you trade for four below replacement level players sure. and they all come over. I, literally all of them. Every like, single Ahmed ball. Rosario, oh, Kike Hernandez are both knocking the cover off the ball. Lance Lynn has made two starts and I think has given up one run total. Maybe I think two maybe, runs. maybe two runs. Maybe. maybe yeah, I think one I think of them gave up two, two runs. runs. And then uh, Joe Kelly, who the Diamondbacks saw yesterday, I don't believe has allowed a run and has yeah. struck out seven in three and two-thirds innings or something. And, of course, he had an ERA of five in we, Chicago. So. We, we showed the video where he couldn't even hit a target in his own backyard. He smashed his own oh, window. Oh, yeah, you guys did show yeah, that Yeah, we did. Right. So, uh, yeah, things are quite different for Joe Kelly. That guy absolutely dominated the Diamondbacks yesterday. It's but. just, like, the most predictable thing ever. And, and oh, yeah, at least it, they're not, they don't even have, like, half the rotation. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, can you, and they get uh, Walker Bueller back in and, September. And, uh, yeah. Uh, is Dustin May supposed to come back this year? I don't remember what his what his injury. I, I know uh, we named. Yeah. I know they're missing him, but I know that Walker Bueller. It sounds like yeah. is is going to return, mm -hmm. which yeah. was which was an an unknown earlier in the season. It might be in like a multi inning relief sort of a role. Not sure where things stand on Dustin. Oh May, no, Dustin uh, looks like he's out for a year. Okay, he had uh, okay surgery on his flexor in UCL. So getting round, Walker Bueller yeah, back at some point, though, that's, I mean, that's, that's yeah, going to be a pretty big sucks. addition. For this. And they also don't have Kershaw right now. Kershaw's also hurt right now. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That pro that's probably why they're doing better than they normally. Well, are. Kershaw's been good. This no, year. I know he was going to potentially be the <laughs> starter in the All Star game without he was performing right. um, before all of that happened. Uh, let's take a look again at those power rankings, rounding out the top five. We have the Orioles at number four, the Houston Astros at number five. Uh, then in the bottom half of the top ten, we have Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Blue Jays, Phillies, and next in ni ninth, we have the Seattle Mariners making their debut on our power rankings, uh, followed by the Giants there at 10th. The Giants have kind of uh, experienced a little bit of that bad luck that a lot of the teams right now in the wild card hunt have experienced. Everybody's kind of bad right now. Uh, we also just, you know, had the Cubs lose a couple of games, so they fell right off our power rankings as well. But Seattle Mariners feels like things have gotten right for that team. We know that they had yeah. a lot of good things going for them, but we also know that like they had their own little stretch of offensive woes where it felt like every single guy uh, on their starting lineup was was striking out and, and leading the league in strikeouts. There was a lot of Mariners mm -hmm. at the top of that list, but hey, they feel like they got things leading, together. I yeah, I'm pretty sure. So <laughs> since the Arizona Diamondbacks made the trade with the Seattle Mariners, yep. right? Uh Number one, the Diamondbacks have lost every game. And <laughs> number two, or I guess they, they won the game on the night of the trade. Correct. Like none of the players like actually the reached their new teams right. yet. So that one, I don't know. I don't know how you count that. Uh, the Mariners have won seven consecutive yeah, games. Um, oh, God, Shane's here. And they are Great. now Woo! 10 games over 500. The Mariners, who were sellers at the trade deadline and sold to the Arizona they're, Diamondbacks, they're closer. are now closer <laughs> to the postseason than the Arizona Diamondbacks. Like the Mariners is, are two games out. The Diamondbacks are two and a half games out in the worst wildcard. case in there. It sucks that they've, they're going to force me to hate them. It just, I have to hate the Mariners now. Why do you have to hate the Mariners? Because they, yeah. they we can't have this. We can't lose a trade. They can't. Like they this, can't. This significantly. They can't be sellers and make the playoffs <laughs> while we miss the playoffs after trying to oh, buy. Man, and buying their closer. Yeah. And I mean, we don't get to be, use. It's got to be a. Uh, I mean, I'm sure he probably doesn't actually feel this way if we were to, to ask him about it. But like, you kind of feel for Paul Seawald. Yeah, moment like <laughs> no, this. One hundred percent. He's really getting the short end of the yeah, stick in this situation. Yeah. <laughs> and I bet they could have really. I bet they could really use them potentially here. I don't know what their situation in their bullpen is like, but uh, for people wondering though about like you know the Diamondbacks players going over there, Dominic Canzone is a four sixty three OPS since becoming mm -hmm. a Mariner, and Josh Rojas has yet to reach base for them. He yeah. is he is zero for thirteen. So they've had a wow. lot of success, but not because Canzone of the pieces and, they got. Yeah, Canzone and Rojas haven't really picked things up uh, as of as of yet.